Martin's family. Happy Saturday, Saturday here. Um, so today I'm going to do a meditation. Meditation is one of the most powerful tool we can use to help our minds. And I'm still learning because I will admit I've been a very resistant to in the beginning of my healing journey very resistant to the meditation to the yoga but i realized it wasn't that i was resistant it was because um when you experience a lot of trauma um those things can trigger you um imagine at for me and i can only imagine many of the people like experience trauma because it's you know while our our experiences i mean while her our circumstances may be different many of us i'm um, experiencing similar i would say reaction to trauma the avoidance the um the memories the body sensation the sensitivity to certain things in the environment that's what trauma do we put you in this very hyper reactive way of being even when there's no danger around you're hyper reactive so you know, and hard to trust, not only yourself, but the world and things in the world. So it's normal for you like, I don't know about this. Uh, this sounds, you know, because your brain is always in protective mode. Anything that seemed like a threat, that seem keyword seem like a threat, because um, it's all about your perception. And um, a lot of our perception, perception are screwed because of the trauma we've been through. So anything that looks similar in any way to the trauma that we've been through or some experience similar colors similar tone of voice you name it that can send us off in very reactive trauma mode and um back to the my original thought yeah so i were i was very resistant to anything new one of, that's one of my triggers doing something new um like i don't know i don't know you know a new job a new relationship anything new while it's exciting and i want it you know i work so hard for these things it's very triggering um and it's very fearful and it provoked a lot of anxiety within myself so um back to meditation so meditation is a very powerful to to i would say to help soothe your mind help you to get in a very relaxed mode um i will just read in yesterday um, that um meditation is actually one of the tools we can use to um help transform our brain um there's this thing that scientists call neuroplasticity and i know i'm but maybe i should be the word and that's pretty much how that you you can transform the neurons in your brains and your brains are made up of a i think they said like over a hundred billion of them um looking at the neurons and what they are i forgot what they are completely but um i think they're the communication things things in your brain but again i'm not a, a brain expert in that capacity but it's always good to learn these things our body one of the most powerful tools we have. well our entire being is the most powerful tools that we have especially your brain and all our other body parts but i'm obsessed with the brain um, so look into that and um, look into ways that you can literally transform your whole life by transforming your brain. You know, our brain is not, I think scientists do think that our brain was finite. You know, the older you get, you're dead. You're, you know, you're done for. But with this new discovery of neuroplasticity um, and epigenetics and all these things, like you can regenerate your brain and your whole body by your lifestyle. So, I'm going to do a meditation by, there's no internet here, um, FYI, I'm in Tanzania, East Africa, the motherland, so I'm going to come up with a meditation that's, um, that I'm thinking about, I don't know yet, I'm going to do one as we go, and it's important for people that experience trauma to know that it's normal to have the scatterbrain, it's normal to ha to not able to focus, and I'm very firm on meditation is not about controlling your mind. 
It's not about you have to be this one way, this finite, um, strict way. It's about learning how to be with your mind. Um, the channel is going to come back, come up. That's okay. Um, it's important to learn. I think it's important to know that that's normal. But the goal is whenever the chatter comes, focus on your breath. Go back to your breath. Go back to your breath. Go back to your breath. Focus on your breathing. Uh, maybe putting your hands on your heart, maybe on your diaphragm, maybe on your, your stomach. Maybe that will be helpful. Um, and and if you find that you can only do five minutes, that's okay. Um, the memories, and if you feel something is triggering, it's triggering a deep sense of memory. It's okay to take a break, get up, and probably try again. But this is a tool that is very helpful towards helping us to learn to be with our mind. Because a lot of us, that we're in trauma. Again, we love to avoid. We love to avoid it's one of our big um, defense mechanism. Um, you know, that's where we protect ourselves. And it's normal to, um, to want to protect yourself. But also, if that protection is something that we build to keep us in a stuck space, then that's when that's not serving us for our highest good. So, here we go. Um... And again, meditation come in different forms. You can you can have a walking meditation, a standing meditation, a lying down meditation. Meditation is not all about sitting upright and namaste. It can be very different. Um, I like sitting down at times, but FYI, I'm a Leo, so sometimes I like to be on my bed <laughs> a lot of times. But um, you know, it's all what works for you. Um, I find when I sit up. I'm more focused and I feel like my meditation is more in tune. And sometimes when I'm walking, that's meditative for me. So I'm going to get into the meditation. And before I meditate, um, I want to introduce to you something that I also use that's very good to help your breath. Um, breath of Life by my queen mother, Queen Afua. Um, this is pretty much, I think, peppermint and eucalyptus. I don't know what that means. Eco eco ecolypsis <laughs> um so that's e u c a l y p t u s okay so that's pretty much what's in this and um you can add some drop of it with water i'm already drinking some, some tea so i put it in my tea yeah some peppermint tea in the morning yeah for some peppermint tea well some some of it, breath of life we call it breath of life in my tea and um mm. Miss Wedding well, Call it Breath of Life. <laughs> mm. Hey, you can't sleep with them something you know, man. Mm mm. Then wake you up. Okay. So here we go. Um First of all, you can sit, make sure your spine is, is straight, um, shoulders relax, relax your shoulders. I know a lot of us, um, again, we get very tense, a lot of our, the weight is on our shoulders, so relax your shoulders. Um, and if you feel comfortable, whenever you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. That's also something that we must be aware of trauma, of trauma survivors that you don't always have to close your eyes you can just you can have your eyes open whatever you feel comfortable with i like to close my eyes um so you can close your eyes so close your eyes and if you can't close your eyes close your inner eyes you want to take a deep breath in in through your nose and release through your mouth. Deep breath in, release through your mouth, and a count of three. One more breath in, one more. Okay. 
And I want you to visualize, imagine, visualize your favorite superhero. I know we all have a favorite superhero. Some, or it could be a, a character, a person that you admire and you look up to. It may be their strength that you admire. It may be a character feature that you admire. Maybe you're effortly they walk in a room and be able to know what everybody needs. It may be that they're confident and you admire that. What about their style? Maybe their style. It may be the way that they love themselves and they love others. Whatever character, feature, or trait you admire, I want you to tune into that right now. And it could be many character features you admire. It doesn't have to be one. It can be many. But for this purpose, I would say pick three character features from that superhero or character, deity, whatever you admire. Well, three qualities you admire from that person, character, superhero. I want you to focus on those three character features. Take a minute to focus on the features. And it could be character features as, for example, I'm going to name the character that I'm focusing on. So many of you probably don't know, but I was obsessed with X-Men growing up. And lately I've been getting back into X-Men. And um, I have many favorite heroes in the cartoon. One of my favorite era that I'm discovering it, that I really, really missed out on loving is the character Jean. And I'm, I'm obsessed how she became the Phoenix and how she was able to transform. But while I was obsessed with her transformation and becoming the Phoenix, I forgot how she herself, some of the amazing character features that she had her. That's why the Phoenix chose her as a host. And why her? So, three of the character features I'm tuning into from her is her empathy. The way that she feels for others and know what they need. I'm tuning into her empathy. That's number one. And I want to tune into her determination to be taken over by this amazing being and still be able to preserve her sense of self despite being taken over by this host. I want to tune into her determination to still or try her best to come back and still help her teammates. So I want to tune into her character feature of determination. And number three, I want to tune into the way that she loved. Number three, the amazing way that she loved her partner, Scott. <laughs> and, um, you know, that love for her, for him, and 
and their union and partnership always brought her back when she was being possessed and taken over by the phoenix so tune into what's yours three character features that you love about this character or superhero and think about them and tune into them And think about a time in your own life that you had to use those three character features. Think about the event. What was the circumstances that was going on in your life? And you had to use these character features to support yourself. Maybe it was a difficult time you was going through, or maybe not. Maybe it was one of the most happiest days in your life, and you had to express that character feature. And maybe it was one of your darkest moments. But tune into that that experience when you had to use those three character features. And maybe different dates, it may be a different experience. It doesn't have to be the same experience. But tune into that. Deep breath in and release. Breath in through your nose and release. And I want you to think or imagine or visualize meeting your favorite character a superhero deity especially if you're going through a very difficult moment and what would you say to them what's one question that you would say or burning desire to say to that deity superhero or character Maybe you have a guidance. Maybe you need some advice, right? Maybe you want to just express yourself. Just tune into that. Tune into Nate and them. And tune into what you may need advice with. Take a minute to do that.
maybe you simply just want to just thank thank them for being for being an influence in your life so we're going to give you a few more seconds to end the conversation with your favorite superhero deity character you name it now remember that what you see in your favorite superhero deity character you name it whatever talents gifts or character features you see in them know that what you see in them is your reflection what's in them is also in you and you have that exact same character features in you so whenever you're going through a difficult moment or maybe you're on high you're elevated know that you too possess those character features those traits and they're your reflection and you are your own hero you are your hero you are your hero in the making. No one knows you better than you know yourself. And you continue to transform and grow yourself every single day. So, tune into appreciating and celebrating yourself and your journey. And put your hands on your heart, left hand first then your right hand and I want you to feel your heart feel how it beats and just give a moment of gratitude for beating for all these years it beats. It helps your body to regulate. Just give a moment of gratitude to your heart. And give a moment of gratitude to yourself. For your journey. For this life. In spite of, you're still standing. Deep breath in. And release. So as you go on with your day. Today. And always. Remember the superhero in you. Remember, you are your hero. And you're unique. You matter. You are loved. And may peace, joy, carry you through this day. Ashe. That was powerful. That was powerful. Much love and life, family. So that's the meditation for today. And until next time.